Hello, my name is Thurman Main. I'm the Category Manager for Lawn and Garden Hardlines for Wilco Farm Stores. We're here today to talk about mole and gopher as a category. Um, we are the destination point for our customers for, for the problems that they can be having with these animals. In order for us to be able to recommend the correct products, we need to know what problems they are actually having and we need to identify the animal. Um, moles typically have a volcano-shaped mound, uh, may or may not have a depression in the top of it, whereas the gopher typically there will be a half moon or crescent-shaped mound of soil with either a hole or a slight mound uh, in the center of that crescent. The most important thing that we can start off with customer is making sure that the customer reads the directions and follows all of the safety precautions for the particular product that they're using. All the products that we have that are poisons are meant to be used subterranean. Um, they are meant to be used in the actual burrow itself and that they should follow all the directions on the package for safely handling the product. One of the first products that we'll talk about is the Giant Destroyer Gassers. Um, these actually are utilized um, in the hole. You actually light a fuse, it goes in, you take and you cover the hole. You want to cover all the other entrances that you can possibly find. These tend to work better when there is a lot of moisture in the soil. Uh, it keeps the gas from escaping to other areas. We sell a tremendous amount of these and a lot of customers of ours swear by them. For moles, um, one of the best things that you can use is one of the poison mole worms that we carry. And this is very good because it actually mimics the food source and the mole actually sees this as its natural food source and it's consumed. Um, again, like everything else, they want to follow the directions very well that are on the container. Um, the Sweeney mole worms actually carry flags so that a person can take and put them into the burrow and they can flag the area where they've been using uh, the actual mole worm itself. We carry um, different types of poison baits for gophers. We have baits that carry zinc phosphate. We have baits that actually have strychnine. The strychnine baits use a grain as carrier which is just that much more reason why your customer needs to be aware that this is only to be used subterranean. Uh, they cannot use it on the surface of the soil because these baits are meant to be attractive to the animal. And if they're attractive to the gophers in the soil, then they would also be attractive to birds or other animals on top of the soil. We also are going to have customers that may not want to harm the animals. Uh, they want the animals to go away, not bother their lawn or their garden, but they are not really interested in killing the animal. So for those people, we also carry a few repellents and uh, they work completely different ways. This is Mole Max um, and it works not only on moles but on several other listed animals. And what they will do with this is they actually will sprinkle it over the lawn area that they're trying to protect and it actually works with castor oil and, uh, and it repels the animal then. They actually will water it into the ground. Um, it repels the moles by actually coating the earthworms and the grubs with the oil while, uh, with the castor oil smell while not, still not hurting the, the earthworms but repelling the moles, making the moles not want to eat there. And then we have the mole and gopher sonic spikes and this should be repelling the moles and the gophers and this does it actually with the use of sound and this emits a, a frequency that you or I can't hear that is not harmful to your dogs or cats but is not enticing to the gophers or moles and encourages them to look for someplace else to be. This is a Sweeney dead set mole trap. It is meant to be actually placed on the surface of the soil and you pull up the plunger, you hear it catch, 
you place it down, you actually take and step on the run itself, you place this down onto the run. When the mole actually comes to, to take and raise the soil back up in his run, then he takes and he presses on the plunger. When he presses on the plunger, the trigger is released and he doesn't do that anymore. The two that are lacking basic directions when we sell them are the Maccabee gopher traps and the cinch traps. All cinch traps are basically set the same way. Bend the spring part over. As you're holding that, you take the first rod over, you insert it down into the slot, you then take the second rod and go over and it actually goes underneath just like that. The animal comes up through here. It goes to push on this to be able to push that out of its burrow. And at that point, it is caught in the trap. Another popular trap is the Victor out of sight mole trap. This is used also actually in the tunnel. Um, this trap is a little bit more complicated to set up. It comes with tools. You actually use these on the outside of it. They insert actually into the spring. Take the tool. Squeeze that together like that. Okay. It comes with a safety that prevents it from getting you. You will actually place it down into the runway. You will remove the tool. At that time, you remove the safety. The animal comes through the side. When the animal comes through here and then pushes up on the mound. This is a Maccabee trap. Um, this is what holds the trigger. It doesn't come over the top of the trap. It actually goes underneath the trap. You want to make sure that this is moving freely. You actually take your thumbs, you press down the spring, you want it to catch on the bar, and then you insert the trigger through the hole. When you are carrying this around and you are putting it in, you can hold this just like that. That will prevent the trap from accidentally springing in your hand. They can also put it in just like this into the actual burrow itself. Um, and then at that time they can take and adjust this. So there's not much left sticking out. They want to actually take and either have wire or string through this and a stake holding it because when the animal is caught, sometimes it has the ability to move even more. And then they'll just go ahead and place this in just like that. The animal comes up through here and triggers the trap. In conclusion, I hope that this was helpful, that this was time well spent, that we might have been able to answer a few questions and help you uh, serve our customers.